All right, welcome back to part number four of our first assignment. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to add some frames, okay? So the first thing I want to do is right-click my rectangle frame, and we're going to get into our ellipses frame tool. So I'm going to just come right here. I'm going to hold down Shift to make sure that this is a perfect circle. I'm going to come into my uh, stroke option. I'm going to make this a yellow stroke. I'm going to just jack this up to 10 points. Okay, so it's already there. And then in my fill color, I'm going to use this light blue fill. Okay, now what I want to do is I want to place an image into this, but not just any image. So I want to go to File, and I want to go to Place. And what we're going to do in this set is we're going to insert a Photoshop document. Okay, so this photo has been edited in Photoshop to have a foreground and a background. And we're going to take the background out using Illustrator or InDesign. And what we're going to do right now is we're going to put in a Photoshop document. And in this Photoshop document, we're going to uh, make sure that we can take the background out. Because a Photoshop document, if you know from Photoshop, has different layers. So on these layers in this document, one's the background layer and one's the foreground layer. So we're going to use uh, InDesign uh, adaptability and, and its way it communicates with other Adobe files to take the background out so click on that and then in your options bar wherever your options bar is i know that it's different on windows but you want to just make sure that show import options has been checked okay show import options has been checked and we're going to click open all right and when that comes in you're going to see image import options okay so you got to make sure that the show preview is on and then I've got background copy and I've got background. Let's turn off the background, okay? So if I click that eyeball on the background, you'll notice that it takes that background out. If I turn off the eyeball on the background copy, nothing happens because it's just copied this coffee, coffee cup. Uh, but I want to turn the background off, so turn that eyeball off, and then you're going to click OK. So you'll notice that when you do that, it's going to pull in this image of just the coffee cup. So if I move it over here, you'll notice that there's nothing there. But uh, this is just the image of the coffee cup. So if you click on the circle, you'll notice that the image outline is filled in. What I want to do is I want to resize our image right there. And I'm going to just make sure, make try to get this into the center of that as possible. Okay. And then boom, just like that, you have inserted a, a Photoshop document that is uh, without a background. Okay. So just like that, we're good to go on part four of our first assignment. So go ahead and click that file, save as, flyer, underscore four, underscore last name. Way to go, guys.